Hi there. Okay, so there are a few things that we must discuss this morning. Today's topic is kind of a serious one. It's anxious kids. Do you have one? I have one. And sometimes when my son gets overly anxious, I'm always asking friends, doctors, family for some home remedies, some way to help him relax. So I have a few that I wanted to share with you that I think are working. The first one is, and it's so simple, Give your kids a bath instead of a shower to relax them. Um, my son is eight years old, so I had already moved on to showers with him, but actually, think about it. When you go to a spa, you sit in the hot tub, right? So baths are relaxing, but put some Epsom salt in it. Epsom salt in the bath. A good amount of it, they sell them in these little containers that are like half and half containers. Put the whole thing in or get a big bag like this and scoop it in. There's magnesium in Epsom salt and that relaxes kids. So now I call it, you know, our special bath crystals and my son loves to take a bath with the Epsom salt. So try that. Another great thing if your child is having trouble sleeping is another magnesium option which is called Natural Calm. What this is is just a powder. They call it the anti-stress drink. Apparently if your body is deficient in magnesium, it can increase insomnia and anxiety among other things. So this is just like lemonade. You just put a little powder in the water for them, especially if your child is one that calls out for a glass of water after he's gone to bed. Give him some sweet lemon flavored water and you'll get the bonus of balancing calcium and restoring magnesium levels and hopefully calming them down a little bit. So those are two things that are really working for us. And finally, because I have boys, uh, this is a book that's been recommended to me by a therapist uh, and it's something I've heard of many times. It's a famous book by a Harvard educated guy. Uh, it's called Real Boys and it's all about how boys are being raised in our society and how unfortunately they're still raised in a way that tells them not to express their emotions and how that can lead to problems for them. So it's rescuing our sons from the myths of boyhood. Um, someone here says, you know, I wish I'd read Real Boys when my son was a boy. So it's a big, thick book. I haven't gotten through it yet, but I've started. So I pick it up here and there. If you've got boys, check out Real Boys. And that is all we must discuss for today. I'll see you next time.